Hello, welcome guys. So in today's video, we will learn about GitHub Actions. What are GitHub Actions and how we use them and what is the benefit it brings. So everything we will learn in today's video. GitHub Actions is a service that is offered by GitHub. So it means it is a platform dependent service. So if your code is uh, on another version control like Bitbucket or GitLab, then you can't use this GitHub Actions. You can only use GitHub Actions if your code is rep repository is in GitHub. Okay. So why we use GitHub Actions basically? So GitHub Actions give you the, the uh, capability to customize your uh, workflows for CI CD pipeline. It means you can define how you want to deploy your application, how you want to test your application, how you want to integrate your application uh, up when you push your code in GitHub uh, simple basically. So this is my application linting demo. This is a very simple react application, nothing fancy in it. Okay. I'm on main branch right now. So if you see here, here you can see actions tab is there. Okay. So these are the actions basically these are GitHub actions. So if I go to GitHub actions here, so here I don't have any actions as of now. Okay. And if, if I check the code for this repository, so this is my code linting demo. Okay. Very simple code is this, this is the code basically and nothing fancy in it also. Okay. Now we, we have, uh, we don't have any actions as of now. So we will try to create a new action, a very simple basic action, GitHub action. So let's try. So when you click on this action tab, so so there are two things there are two two ways to create uh, create action basically first of all either you can do set up a workflow yourself so from from the scratch you are uh, allowed to create a github action but other way is a simple way where github already provide you lots of template from those templates you can easily choose according to your requirement and then start using those actions directly in your application so in most of the cases uh, github already provide those actions template so you can directly use those templates in your project you don't need to write from the scratch okay so these are the supposed uh, suggested repos okay so if, if we want to use some template that is the best way to use it so for deployment if you, you want to deploy node.js to azure azure web application so you can use this uh, action so these are the different different actions require require uh, based on the requirement basically here and if you go view all then there are lots of actions will be available for the deployment basically okay this is the deployment actions template here below this is the security action, uh, action template and here this is for continuous integration template and this is automation template this page template so there are lots of templates already available in github so we will pick a simple one to understand how it works so basically if our application is a node application in react so this is node.js here if you see build and test a node.js project with npm so this is a very basic basic thing and javascript is used in, inside it so i will use this one basically if I, we have to click on this configure okay now this is uh, this is a uh, this is a workflow basically so let's quickly use this workflow in our project okay you just need to commit changes from here we have changed the name of the uh, name of our workflow then we will uh, click on this commit change and commit message we can do anything commit directly to main branch we will say yes commit changes okay so now we have we will go in our code okay and then we will take the update as of now we don't have any uh, github folder and workflow inside our folder right but if we take uh, the pull let's pull the code okay and now you can see we have github folder inside our uh, main folder okay and in this github we have another workflows and then inside this workflow we have first action okay what we created there in github so this was the basic uh, github action we already created a github actions and then th that github action is uh, got inserted in our code base basically okay so as simple as that so now this is our first action everything is there Okay, cool. So this is very simple basic action. So first we have to make some changes. So, okay, in the starting, uh, we will learn about this action, what is inside it and how we will use it. Okay, so this is, the, uh, let's start uh, from the top. So this is name. So this is name of the action. Okay, uh, name, we can do, uh, we can give any name like uh, my first setup. Okay, what, whatever you want to be, my first setup. Okay, and this is on, this on means this is a trigger, trigger event. So on push, so it, it is saying on pushing on these branches main branch or pull request on the main branch then the jobs will be executed okay so this action is saying this is the uh, event on which this action will be triggered okay on push basically like if some developer is pushing some uh, changes or some tags or anything in uh, on this branch this particular branch then the jobs will get executed okay okay but if we can we want that this these, these jobs should be executed not only for main branch but for but for every branch so we just remove this branch name uh, data like this okay and if we give on push so it is saying on push like pushing on any branch then the jobs will get executed automatically okay now comes to jobs in jobs basically we have uh, multiple properties so build so build runs on so runs on means it will uh, run uh, it will create a ubuntu uh, ubuntu environment 
and then then run the jobs and these are the metrics node version because we are using node template so it is it will run on in these uh, these three uh, these three version of node it will try to execute uh, our code on these three okay you can modify any any version of uh, node for this now these are the steps so basically in these steps uh, github action automatically check out to our code uh, on the branch it will check out so you don't actually you don't need to give much attention to these things because these are the system defined thing you know you don't need to uh, uh, modify these things usually okay then it will use node.js here and there so you, you you have to just focus on these three things run okay so here comes in run basically it is running npm ci so npm ci is equal to npm install basically but it, it is uh, basically ci means clean install so it will first of all uh, remove all the node modules available in the cache and everything then it will again install those modules okay so it is npm ci then it will go for npm run build okay it will build then it will test our code okay simple as that so this is this is our action basically so I hope you understand this action so this is very simple action now we will try to run this action how we can run how can uh, use this action in our application deployment and everything right okay okay now now we have created our action but how we will use in our application and how be, what benefit it can give in our application okay so in our application we are using linting so just assume uh, we there are multiple developers working on this project okay and we have told all the developers that please before making any commit or push just fix all the linting errors okay you can't commit any linting error in the uh, own github repository okay so we have given clear the instructions to all the developers but there is a new developer who joined and who don't know that we are following these practices okay or by mistake any developer can do this mistake so he or she you know pushed a linting error in the code okay on the github so without knowing that it can break our deployment process so he or she deployed all that linting error and let's see how our action will detect that and how we can fix that error okay this is the use case basically we, we will show in this uh, uh, in this video so just assume this is the linting okay let's create a linting error first of all now we will go here uh, this is our applica application now i will create any linting error uh, let's a equal to 30 okay so the linting error is i have declared a but never used a is declared but its values never read okay its, it's values never used basically so this is our linting error so just assume some developer pushed this linting error code on github okay now we will push this code creating linting error okay this is the code okay now we will commit and push here okay now we are create uh, we are creating linting error but 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 according to our action if we push something in our code then that action should get executed Im immediately okay so now we will go this to this action yes as you can see creating linting error so this is getting executed this is our action yeah so it is in progress action already get started okay as you can see build failed on 14th uh, 14th version of node similarly it, it broke the chain so if it fail here it will not go there okay so status is failure so if we check here like what but what is the cause of failing so it is it is saying yeah so it is saying linting error this is the linting error basically and here, here is the error a is assigned a value but never used okay it means if some developer pushed code with the errors so it uh, the uh, in, uh, our github action automatically detect it and stop the deployment there okay it will not allow code with with error to be deployed okay so now it have given uh, clear instructions to us okay now we will fix that and let's see what happens now we will remove just remove that error okay just remove this error okay now we have removed that error so again we will push the changes error removed error removed okay now get uh, commit and push now we will quickly see our actions should get executed error removed okay so now it will start now it is in queue but it will start shortly error removed yes in progress now it is in progress so three job complete so sorry three jobs in progress so it, it will test on all these three uh, node versions basically one by one success okay so if we go to actions here so it means every time we will push anything in our code so this action will get executed automatically and this is our all workflows so if i check here my first setup okay my first setup is my workflow name and here is my workflow file workflow file is always in yml format and uh, these are the workflow process that has happened after clicking push after pu pushing my code on github actions we can control our code pushing pull or any any number of event these are the events you can read about more uh, more about these events here so these are n number of events on which you can create uh, workflows and uh, events that trigger workflows okay these are the events basically so you can use lots of events are there if you create some issue okay you create some tag you label some and some, you uh, someone deleted the branch someone changed the name